One of my viewers made me recently aware that there's a bit of a design problem with the Zeplos 280 kit, the do-it-yourself box. So while the batteries here at the front have the full compression plate, a flat steel pushing against them, we don't have this here at the end. At the end we have only an upper beam, a lower beam and one in the middle. So the support for these batteries is only at the top, at the bottom and in the middle. So um, to show you this, I have to uncompress the battery again. Thankfully I haven't done any bus bars, nothing since the last video. So let's do the uncompression here and then I'll show you what's going on in this area. Uh, by the way, welcome back to another video here from the Ofgut Garage in cloudy but nice and warm Australia. Welcome back. Okay, compression plate is off. Now we should be able to separate these batteries again to get to the very end. We can also have a look at the sticky foam here where the bloated hythium cells are and see how the foam looks like after just a week. Looks pretty straight to me. Okay, so the last one needs to come out and I have to take off the board here again. All right, so here you can see the problem the viewer made me aware of. I have actually seen this here as well. There was a bit of a welding hump here and I had to file this down to make this a bit smoother. And I thought about it, I said, there's only one support at the top, one at the bottom and one in between and nothing here in these areas. And you can see this already here on the EVA tape. Here in the middle, the foam is compressed, but here on the side, there's nothing. And this is exactly where these huge gaps are here. So I'm not sure, I don't know if, do we need? Zeplos could just weld a square plate in here and close up these two gaps. So the battery has a full area support here at the end of the case as well. So Zeplos, if you're watching this, this is a design improvement request. And I actually thought I've got some 5mm aluminium here, but I haven't. These offcuts are all 3mm only. Yep, no 5mm. What do you reckon? 3mm aluminium, would that make a difference? I don't know. What do you think? Will it make a difference? It's a three millimeter aluminium. I could potentially double this up. Just make it two plates. Six millimeter aluminium at the back should be fine, right? So one and two. So this should give us the necessary support here at the back. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I got with these sticks. Oh, ne. That's a scheiß jetzt. Now, jetzt klebt der Kack schon hier dran fest. Man. Okay. Oh, that is so sticky. Okay, there we go. Put our cell back in. Push all the batteries back in. What do you think? Six millimeter aluminium at the back? I think it's a good idea. I'll do two more for the other side.
so now let's see if we put the compression plate back in that's a pretty wide gap here ah that should be long enough i think the uh, eva foam in between the cells they have already a bit compressed so it gives us more room here or maybe some of the cells have already decompressed and got thinner I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm I'm pretty sure this has not happened All right compressing I pretty much leave a six millimeter gap here now so this is to compensate for the aluminium plates at the end. Yeah, and these wings have now bended over quite a lot. And the same on this side. So that is not pretty anymore, but this is what you get. All right. Yeah, I, um, I'm feeling much better now with these aluminium plates here at the end. It makes a lot of sense. So Seplos, a community improvement request for your Mason 280 kit just weld in a steel plate at the end of your box to support the cell on the full area. So how I got a bit of an even compression here in this box is I was measuring the the depth of all the batteries here. So we've got here 65.3 and we've got here on the other side uh, 65.4. So there's one millimeter difference between this corner and this one. So I actually loosen this one here just a tiny bit so that they're just coming out half a millimeter on this side because the EVA form is expanding and pushing out these cells again. So half a millimeter out here, half a millimeter out here and this is the best I can get. We've got um, 56.4 here and here on the other side 56.4. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> just for my OCD. And we also have these gaps here in between. See, this fits my salt stock here. This gap, this gap, this gap. Gets a bit hard. Doesn't fit here anymore. Fits here, 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 here. Almost two of them. No. Yes. No. No fing way. So this is just what you get, this uneven compression with all these kind of cells here. It is what it is. It's a Frankenstein battery. All right, guys, I wanted to get this one done before we actually start connecting the BMS in the bus bars, which will happen tonight. So to start assembling the battery, we have to wait until it's dark and the full moon is out. And only then we can make the battery alive. All right, I guess we will see us in a couple of hours again when it gets dark. As always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your great support here on the channel, your amazing donations. Thank you very much for buying me a beer. And until the next video tonight, you stay charged, stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then, bye bye. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about these aluminum plates at the end. It makes sense, right? It makes sense. Also, thank you to whoever put this in the comments.